Good morning, Wakeside. Today is Friday, April 29th. We have a lot of birthdays to celebrate this weekend. Today is Shruti Sundar in 2D. No birthdays Saturday, but Sunday, May 1st, is Zidane Arif in 1B and Andrew Schliatsitzow in 4B. June 1st is Myla Botello in 3B and Henry Cox in K3. And July 1st is Zaim Ahmed in K3, Zahian Ahmed in K1, and Amy Joseph in 2A. Happy, happy birthday or early birthday to all of you. Make sure you come down to the office for a birthday treat. We also have our Longhorns of the Week to celebrate today. We have Avani Karlapudi in EC1, Tanush Ralabandi in PK1, Sriyansh Kodali in EC3, Sarah Hamden in PK3, Srinabi Pahari in PK4, Anika Sajit in PK5, Yoko Simba in K1, Aiden Issa in K2, Molly Hansen in K3, Renata Jimenez Alvarado in 1A, Jack Mink in 1B, Lily Pervier in 1C, Jacob Kolb in 2A, Jackson Nafe in 2B, Rayon Anjanapa in 2C, Micah Housen in 2D, Viba Alaparthi in 3A, Matthew Cox in 3B, Gage Pervier in 3C, Emma Elmer in 3D, Abigail Choi in 4A, Anna Kroom in 4B, Max Sutter in 4C, Amber Zhao in 5A, Rocco Ferrario in 5B, and Jace Botello in 5C. Thank you to all of you and all of our Longhorns who have shown motivation this week. Next week, our focus will be on attentiveness. Attentiveness is paying close attention to something. It could be paying attention to your teacher during class, or it could be paying attention to your friends or classmates needs and wants. Attentiveness may not sound like it connects to determination, but it is a big part of it. If you have goals that you're trying to meet and you are not attentive to each of the little steps to reaching those goals, you might not meet those goals or you might take longer to meet them than you expected. If you have academic goals, you really need to be attentive in class. If you have friendship goals, then you really need to be attentive to your friends. See how you can be attentive next week. Our self-care strategy next week is basketball breathing. So pretend you are bouncing a basketball and getting ready at the free throw line. So take a deep calming breath in as you dribble three times. And then you can exhale as you pretend to shoot your shot. Do this three times to keep that prefrontal cortex activated, your wise owl in control, rather than your emotional guard dog amygdala. Have a wonderful weekend friends and have a fantastic Friday.